Welcome everybody to another unboxing edition of Talking About Records. I have got a ton. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big boxes to go through. Um, this has become quite a ritual, honestly. So many people seem to enjoy this. I don't know if it's the... Uh, the physical act of taking them out of the box or seeing what's in the box, but I get it. I enjoy it too. It's kind of a cool deal getting to see records come out of a box. <laughs> Hopefully this time, as always, they arrive safely. Um, I will mention um, that, like always, the vast majority of these or a large portion of these are reserved for my local customers first. This is the inventory that stocks my local shops here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So if you're not local, I've got three shops here local. And the vast majority will funnel into those. But um, we also are starting to sell a lot more of this online. So if you go to shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing, I'm going to do my very best to get as much of this inventory available online as well. We ship anywhere in the United States. Unfortunately, we do not ship internationally at this point. We're working on it. Um, so again, if you're in the United States and you see anything you like, hit up shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing, and it may be available. It may not. Depends um, how much of this is allocated to pre-orders, how much is already reserved and allocated to customers who have picked it up in advance. So anyways, we'll get going, and I'll, I'll repeat some of that along the way. We've got some Blink-182. Um, this is the uh, colored vinyl edition of Dude Ranch. This has been a hot title right here. Paul Coffin, uh, a couple of these are reserved for pre-order. I may have a couple extra. This is the Texas Indie Retailers exclusives on FU Money Green. There you go. Heard it here first. We got more of the uh, Blink-182. Ah, there we go. There's a beautiful album right there. Blonde on Blonde from Dylan. This is a brand new reissue. Um, I have not read any reviews on it yet. Again, this is uh, just recently pressed, so I'm really curious to see um, how the quality is on this new uh, copy of Blonde on Blonde, which is one that's hard to find as far as a vintage copy, so I'm glad to get a few copies in. Um, I think I got probably five copies of that one in, and I know there's a couple other Dylan titles um, that also are coming in that should be in these boxes. So there you go. Pretty good first batch. We've got some Dylan, some Blink-182. Paul Coffin. Um, I'm going to put those over here and we will continue on. This is going to take a while given how many uh, how many boxes we got, so bear with me. I'm going to try and get through as much as I can, but I'm also trying not going not gonna to rush. I don't want to damage any records or damage any more fingers because I've been there, done that. All right, let's see what we got in this box. I see some Midlake, some local Denton boys right there. If you're not familiar with Midlake, they just came out with a new record. This is one of their older records, uh, The Trials of Van Occupanther. Very strange title, but this is an amazing record. If you're into, uh, you know, Snow Patrol, Coldplay, like indie rock type stuff, um, they are an absolute fabulous band. Here is the White Stripes' Get Behind Me Satan. This one hadn't been in stock in a while. Glad to get some copies of that in. Actually, a pretty underrated White Stripes album, honestly. Um, it's a, a, let me see if it's got any on the hype figure. So Blue Orchard, uh, The Nurse, My Bo Doorbell, some great tracks from the White Stripes. Have a few copies of that one in. Let's see what else we got here. Here's more of that Paul Coffin. Like I said, a number of these, possibly all, I think I got five copies in, and I think the vast majority of them are allocated to customers already. So uh, you'll have to check with me if you're interested in picking up that Paul Coffin release. All right, and then we got more Blink-182 and one more of the Paul Coffin. We are making our way through. Um, I, will, I guess I'll chat a little bit while we open these up. Um, the YouTube channel has just been continuing to blow me away and blow us away, everyone involved here in NTX, um, which is primarily my wife and a couple of really good friends who help out, um, you know, the response that we've gotten um, to the content we're putting out here on YouTube and, and all across social media has just been so positive. So can't thank everyone enough for the support and um, just, you know, supporting what we do and continuing to encourage us because, man, it's a lot of work doing this stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. And um, it helps a lot when you get a lot of positive reinforcement that what you're doing actually matters. People actually care and are actually listening. So here you go. Here's a, uh, told you there'd be more Dylan. There's Highway 61. And there is 
bringing it all back home. So again, these are brand new reissues. I'm excited to see um, see how these fare. But if you need some Dylan in your collection, um, you know, if you can find pre-owned vintage copies of Dylan, go for it and get them. A lot of times you don't find them in the greatest condition just because, you know, it's Bob Dylan. They were listened to a lot um, back in the day. They're out there, but they're not as easy to find as some other artists. Here's more of the Midlake. And we've got some more Dylan. Let's see, I'm trying to get all these the right way. So when I put them on the shelf, they're all spying out. It helps a little bit when we start organizing and pricing, which is the next step of all this. I kind of started this unboxing thing on a whim because honestly, I was thinking, man, I already take the time to unbox these records. And as I unbox them, I'm always looking at them and kind of thinking about them and um, think, talking to myself about them. So I figured, why not just turn the camera on and knock two birds out with one stone and let everybody see what's going on. So it's a little bit of behind the scenes. It's a little bit of just obviously advertising what I've got in stock. But in reality, it's something I do every week anyways. So I figured might as well just roll camera and everyone seems to enjoy it. So, you know, we keep on doing it every week um, as often as we can. And here we go on to box number two. Again, we got seven boxes this week, so it's going to run for a marathon. This is from a variety of different distributors, too. I think three or four different distributors this stuff's coming from. So, um, all right, here is an album that has been out of stock for a while. They did the, re -anniversary, the, uh, the anniversary version of this, which was the uh, couple different box set versions, but the uh, normal double LP set of White Pony on black vinyl is back. I have got a bunch of copies of these. Um, by far my favorite Deftones album. I actually, I love White Pony. It's such a dynamic and uh, just amazing record. Um, not even a big Deftones fan. I don't even own um, their catalog or anything, but that record in particular is an absolute standout. So I got a bunch of those in, as you saw. There was probably, I think I, I think I ordered maybe 10 or 15 copies of White Pony. Again, majority for the shop and local customers. But if you're in the US, I'd be happy to ship you one. So um, if you don't see it online, let me know. Here we go, folks. New release coming at you, Jack White's Fear of the Dawn, brand new. This is the uh, limited edition astronomical blue colored vinyl. I cannot wait to hear this. I can assure you the minute I am undone, I am done with this unboxing, I will be walking right over to my turntable and dropping one of these babies on. I have really enjoyed the first couple singles that um, Third Man has previewed um, and I'm seeing him live next month, which I can't wait here in Dallas. Um, so I can't wait to check out the new record, see what it's like. Um, he's been teasing, teasing the tour um, and saying that he's playing uh, songs from everything, all the White Stripes era, all his solo records, as well as a new record. So um, it's going to be cool to see what he chooses because that's quite a vast catalog of albums. Um, that's quite got to be quite a fun puzzle. So if you're a Jack White fan, um, I'd highly suggest picking up this record, checking it out. There's a couple different variants of it. They didn't go crazy, thankfully, um, but there's a few different variants. I think this is, the, again, this is the blue one. I know the one on Third Man's site, I think it's the same vinyl, but it came with a, uh, a screen printed uh, jacket, which is really cool. I really like that idea that Jack has. Instead of bogging down the pressing plants with, you know, a whole bunch of different variants on the vinyl, you can do different variants on the jackets because, you know, printing isn't near as backed up as uh, vinyl. A lot more, a lot more printing manufacturers for uh, jackets and sleeves and all those things than there are for vinyl records. So I love the fact that he's uh, mindful about that and actually, um, you know, didn't do a ton of variants on the record. So anyways... Really looking forward to checking that record out. All right, let's see what else we got. Ah, oh, this is a cool record that has not been in around been around a long time. This is the best of David Gray, including Babylon, Please Forgive Me, Sail Away, for the first time on vinyl, and two brand new tracks, Smoke Without Fire and Intro Lighting. I've not heard those. This uh, originally came out in 2016, um, and I haven't seen it in stock in a couple of years, honestly. I could be wrong. I could have missed it, but as you can see, 17 tracks, Double LP, Best of David Gray. I'm excited about that one. I do not have a copy of that one. I've only got um, some of his full-length stuff, but it's always cool to have a best of as well. I, I'm, I do not shy away from having a best of, especially from an artist like David Gray. So if you need one of those, definitely let us know. We've got it in stock 
and um, should be available on the link, which again, you can get in the description. I'll pop it up um, you know, on the, uh, the video so you can click and go to it. But in case you need it, it is shop.ntxvinyl.com slash unboxing. That's the link where most of this will be surfaced. You can go to the website and obviously search and find whatever you want. There's literally hundreds of thousands of tens of or hundreds of thousands of titles available. But I try to curate it on that unboxing link so you don't have to do too much hunting yourself and can get right to some of these albums. Again, not every album is going to be there especially because these are coming from a variety of different distributors because that complicates things. Um, but I'm going to do my best to keep it updated with everything um, as, as much as I can that you're seeing coming out of these boxes. So, all right, let's move on. All right, some more classic albums. We've got The Stones. This is Exile, half-speed mastered audio on 180 gram, Exile on Main Street. It's a real hard thing trying to name your favorite Stones album, but I think Exile would probably be my favorite. Let It Bleed is also so incredibly good. I, also, I love Sticky Fingers too. I mean, there's just Beggar's Banquet. Come on, there's too many. But if you don't have Exile in your collection, you should fix that because it's fantastic. Speaking of fantastic, I love this record too. This is one that's been out of stock for a while. Tyler Childers and Purgatory, one of my favorite um, kind of new school country artists. And when I say new school, I actually mean old school because that's some old school outlaw sounding country, which is the only type of country I dig. All right, what else? Ooh, Sepultura, check that out. The classic 1993 LP um, reissued on 180 grain vinyl. I have not had that in stock before. That's pretty cool, Sepultura. And some more of that Tyler Childers. All right, so moving right along. Let me get these shelved over here. One day I'm going to have to do a... Uh, I've done the tour of my listening room. One time, one day I need to do a tour of my, my back stock room. I've got a storage unit, or actually more than one storage unit, really close by. Um, and that houses all of my vintage kind of pre-owned records that funnel into my shop because I don't sell pre-owned pre online. And then I've got a stock room, um, AKA our spare bedroom in our house that um, I, where I organize all the new vinyl and everything. That's where I'm at now. Um, and we've got it organized now. So I should do a tour of it. It'd be pretty cool. All right. This record is dedicated to Lane Staley. Fantastic album. Jerry Cantrell, Degradation Trip. If you're an Alice in Chains fan, um, you are doing yourself a disservice if you've not heard Jerry's solo records, including this one. It is an absolutely phenomenal record. I mean, come on. Just so great. You've got a, a stellar band. You've got some great tracks on this. It's just, man, Trujillo on bass. Um, and you've got, uh, forget, forgetting his name from Faith No More on drums, but... As you can imagine, Jerry put together a hell of a band for that. All right, speaking of some more stones, there is the Let It Bleed 180 gram remaster. Fantastic stones record, iconic cover. If you don't have Let It Bleed in your collection, I would, uh, I would fix that personally. But, you know, I'm a big stones fan. All right. Uh, making our way through. We've still got a lot to go, folks, so hope you're in this for the long haul. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sustain talking through this whole thing, but I'll, but I'll do my best. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a lot of stuff coming in this week. Obviously, the other big release this week is the, the new Toolbox set, um, which I'll show here in a minute. I've got some of those in stock as well. But let's keep moving through. All right, Foo Fighters, there's nothing left to lose. I've only got a couple of this. A few of them are already allocated uh, to customers on pre-order. So um, that one is in short supply. More of the Sepultura, more of the Foos, and we got more of the Cantrell. Let's see what else we got in here. Looks like more of the Sepultura. So I'm excited about that Sepultura record. I think it's on black vinyl. Yeah, just black vinyl. Man, that's freaking cool. Have not seen that one in in a long time. All right. Looks like we're down to the bottom of this box. One more miniature box. See. Mm. Everything looks to have arrived very safely, which is always nice to see. I can't stand it when I open these up and stuff is damaged. There's nothing worse than that. 
All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we've got a whole box full of box sets. All right. This is Where the Light Is by John Mayer. This is a 4LP um, live in Los Angeles. I can't recommend this enough. Music on vinyl pressing. It sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, and the track list is great. This is everything up through Continuum, I believe. Um, and it's got not only him acoustic, also uh, with the trio, which is um, Steve Jordan and Pino Palladino. And then also with his full band. So you've got three different styles of John Mayer on here. Um, I don't know which one I like best. They're all phenomenal. But uh, it's, a, it's a great set, man. There's one more of those Foo Fighters. So um, if you need the, the John Mayer, let me know. It's a fantastic set. Um, one of the one of the really best pressings I think I have from Music on Vinyl, and that's saying something because there's a lot of good Music on Vinyl pressings in my opinion. Uh, they're not all great, but I've got a bunch of them that do sound great, and so I always appreciate. It. And they have great packaging, and they do a good job marketing as well. So I appreciate all sides of that. All right, moving right along, we are on to what looks like box number four, I believe. One, two, three, yeah, box number four. One of the things about um, the YouTube channel that has been so great, obviously aside from the viewers and people tuning in, which is always fantastic, but man, the, just the interaction from the community and people providing real commentary, not like BS social media comments of just to stir the pot, but actual thoughtful comments. Really appreciative of that. So not only on these unboxing videos, I'm just saying on the YouTube channel in general. Ministry shows the way. This is another one that has not been um, in stock in a while. This is, uh, I don't even know how to say the title of this. Someone will correct me. There's the title right there. Pretty cool looking album though. What else do we have here? We have got uh samson that is a pre-order i'm pretty sure which is why i didn't recognize it. a couple of these are i think purity rings is pre-order um faster pussycat that's not a pre-order that's a pretty cool looking album i don't know what's on that so i got a few of those in let's see what else we got in here um there's some more john mayer continuum speak of the devil and we've got several of this ministry on here um be interested to check that one out lp cut by chris bellman Gotta love that. Packages replicated to the finest detail. I love it when bands and labels actually give a shit, you know, and they actually put some effort into their reissues, like especially on stuff like that. You know, finding that ministry album as far as the originals are concerned, basically impossible unless you're going to spend a bunch of money or go overseas, honestly. Some of that stuff seems to be available over there more frequently, but I love seeing labels that put some TLC into it. All right, what else we got here? No, nope, that ain't gonna work. We have got Meshuggah, I think that's a pre-order. Um, Bill Withers, this is a cool Bill Withers Ultimate Collection on uh, on colored vinyl. I believe it's on a uh, on a yellow or a gold vinyl. Love Bill Withers. I don't think there's anybody smoother. Well, unless you get into like Otis. Foster the People. Got some Springsteen Greatest Hits. And we have got uh, Dave Gahan. That's a pre-order, I know for sure. And Rival Sons, I think those are. So that whole box um, is allocated to customers. Not the whole box, but a good portion of it. Let's see. We can wait through what else we got. It's a big order this week. We had a lot of new releases this week. A lot of customer pre-orders. A lot of uh, a lot of catalog titles just came back in stock. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like those Stones records and the Dylan stuff. Like. You know, either it's it's net new or it just hasn't been in stock in a long time. There's Faith No More, Teenage Wrist. We've got another Foo Fighters. Oh, this is cool. This is similar to the uh, the Bill Weather Bill, Bill Withers. This is a Nina Simone Ultimate Collection. Some pretty cool classic R and B reissues. Love seeing that stuff getting back out there. Motorhead, Louder Than Noise, live in Berlin. That's pretty cool. All right, we got Testament. We've got some Deftones, Diamond Eyes. There's one that hasn't been back. I've got all, they've been repressing all the Deftones stuff, which is awesome. And uh, this was one of the last ones you haven't seen in quite a while. So Diamond Eyes is back. 
if you need a copy of that one, I think I have everything from Deftones in stock at the moment. All right, we have made it through box number four. We're going to keep on rolling on. This is a little box here. It looks like these are some extras. Actually, let me set this one down here. And then I can package this one. So this was packed separately. It looks like they had a little overflow on the bigger boxes. So, all right. What do we got here? Two valued customer. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this is more uh, more Jack White. Absolutely. Please do not sell until street date. That's right. Can't get it until street date. That would not be kosher. So if you need the Jack White, there's another big stack. Definitely let me know because I've got it in stock. Got to get another shelf organized over here. Lots of Jack White available. Man, I can't wait to hear that record. Everything Jack's got going on right now is just so cool. The dude, you know, his furniture making and the pressing plant. And now he's doing uh, really cool um, high-end guitar uh, pedals and, you know, guitar equipment, cables, all kinds of shit. Can't imagine how busy that dude is. Kind of stresses me out just thinking about it. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see if I can get all this stuff out of the way. It's organized. It's very important now that I'm getting into some boxes. This is from a different distributor now, so I don't want to mix it with the other ones because, once again, these all got to be inspected for condition. Then they all got to be priced. And then, like I've continually mentioned, they've all got to go um, get allocated in regards to pre-orders or my local shops. So there's a lot of steps that happen after this unboxing. All right, what do we got here? We have got the Alabama Shakes. This is the RSD Record Store Day. Um, Essentials. This is uh, on Silver Explosion vinyl. I can't wait to see what this looks like. I like the uh, like the OB strip that they got around there on the corner too. Great album from Alabama Shakes. Big fan of that band. I'd be interested to see if they uh, continue to produce music. Brittany Howard has done a bunch of solo stuff, and I think there's been some problems within the band. So I don't know if it's something that's going to sustain, but I hope so because they're a great band. All right, next up, how about a classic soundtrack? Forrest Gump. That's pretty cool. This is uh, at the movies from Music on Vinyl. Really nice pressing um, of absolutely iconic soundtrack. If you're into classic rock. All right, I'm going to have to turn this box because these things are packed in here too tight. Bear with me. Let's see if I can do it. Now they're going to fall right out. Maybe. It's the uh, it Forrest Gump that are stuck on the front. All right, there we go. Forrest Gump, back in stock. Got a few copies, let me know. I will see it. I'll try and get that one on the unboxing link. The other one, this one will definitely be on the unboxing uh, link. And that is more copies of Tools Lateralis, the picture disc version. I'm excited that those have been repressed. There is tons of discussion, and rightfully so, about the sound quality of the Lateralis picture disc. It is a picture disc, so I don't think you're going to get premium sound quality. That being said, um, the copies I've heard have actually sounded pretty good. There's usually a little more surface noise because it's a picture disc. It's not quite as crisp. But keep in mind, if you want lateralis on vinyl, that's your only option because it doesn't exist otherwise. They did, there was an unofficial version of it that I saw maybe going back a year plus. And that unofficial really didn't sound great either. And so I, I haven't seen it since, which I'm fine with. So that picture disc version, you know, super cool to look at, obviously, too. Collectors. Kind of, a, kind of a collector's item piece. I always thought of it that way, even if it doesn't have the absolute best sound. But again, if you want to uh, fill out your tool collection as much as possible, got to get creative because there's not a lot of, you know, lateral. It's only the picture disc and 10,000 days doesn't exist. And item has never been reissued. And then, you know, if you want the official Fear Inoculum, you got to buy that box set. So, all right. Classic album alert. Van Halen. Got to absolutely love it. Includes Hot for Teacher. Well, of course it does. Man, this album goes way back for me. This is one of the albums I remember being, uh, being in my brother's room when he was spinning records. This was a big player at that time. Probably right around the time it came out. I was six, seven years old. 
Led Zeppelin three back in stock. This is nice to see. These are the uh, Jimmy Page remasters. Um, this has got the replica pinwheel pinwheel sleeve, uh, which is really cool. So if you need Led Zeppelin three, I've got a few copies of that one that have landed. Oasis, what is the story? Morning Glory, classic Oasis album. Oasis album, haven't seen this one in stock in a while. Comes and goes, happy to get it back. I've seen Oasis one time, and that was at Wembley Stadium. It was fantastic. You talk about a rowdy crowd. I've never, uh, never been, I don't think I've ever been a part of a crowd. Um, I was up in the stands, luckily. Man, you talk about raucous, the Oasis crowd. It was like, Kind of like watching a rugby game. Pretty damn fun. All right, next up, some Black Crows. This is an unofficial live press, 180 gram colored vinyl, um, uh, August 24th, 1990 in Atlantic City. Um, there's the track list. You can see all the live stuff from the first record, which you'd expect from 1990. Got a few copies of that one. And that's a cool, uh, it's a pretty cool live set. I've, I've got a copy of this one. I love the Crows. All right. See if I can get into this box without tipping it. We've got Louder Than Love by Soundgarden um, back in stock. This is colored vinyl edition. I'm pretty sure this is like a gold yellowish vinyl of the Soundgarden classic. Their first major label album, Hands All Over, Gun, Full On Kevin's Mom. Ooh, Get On The Snake, Loud Love, Big Dumb Sex. Jeez, just such a great album. Pretty underrated too. A lot of people don't talk about Louder Than Love because it gets over overshined as it should by bad motor finger and super unknown but all right we got some more of the krungaman leon bridges collaboration texas moon this is black vinyl i've um, got a couple of those oh and here's a cool here's a cool album howard stern private parts this is the record store day i think it was from record store day 2019 maybe i could be wrong but it's a couple years old um i absolutely loved Private Parts, such a funny movie. I think, uh, I don't know how well it's probably aged, but I think Howard's honestly better now than he was back then. Um, and that's a cool soundtrack. This features, uh, let's see, Rob Zombie, Porno for Pyros with Hard Charger. That's a fantastic track. And I believe it's, uh, this is the only place to find it. You've got Manson, Ozzy with Typo Negative, Green Day, Ramones, Deep Purple, Cheap Trick, Ted Nugent, Van Halen, ACDC. So pretty sweet track list if you uh, click. Uh, soundtracks. That's a cool one. All right. Talk about albums that I am in love with right now. This Spoon album is still in high rotation. This is the indie exclusive on opaque orange vinyl. And then we've got a few copies, a few more copies of Pearl Jam Unplugged back in stock. They're um, been readily available over the last couple weeks, but it's starting to dry up, at least from my standpoint. I'm not seeing them as much and I was happy to pick up just a couple more. I'm not sure how much longer Pearl Jam and Pug's gonna be in stock and readily available. Um, hopefully they keep pressing it, but you never know. These days can take a while before something gets pressed and the demand, the demand builds up pretty quickly. All right, that is that. We have got one more big box. I think, I think, I'm not positive, I think this box is gonna be full of some hip hop. I think, not all of it, but I think there's a good portion of hip hop in here. Let's see if I'm right. I can't remember if this is uh, this is the right box or not. Plenty of packing paper. All right, what we got here? Oh, we got some No Doubt. That's not hip hop. This is the colored vinyl version of Tragic Kingdom. Um, I think I've got a good handful of these in. This is cool, yeah, limited color vinyl. This is uh, Tragic Kingdom featuring Spiderwebs, Just a Girl, uh, Don't Speak, um, and the title track. So cool album by No Doubt. Haven't had this one in stock in a very long time. I'm not sure. I, I would assume it just got reissued. I don't know if this uh, limited color, I think it's on a yellow. I'm not positive. I have to look it up. I usually look them up on Discogs to see. And if it's, uh, if it's existed before, then you'll find it there. All right, this is the hip hop box. Here we go. Um, I'm going to do my best. Let's see. We got uh, Cormega, The Realness. Um, let's see what else we got here. This is uh, 13, A Magnificent Day for an Exorcism. We have got Apollo Brown Trophies. This is a really cool, really cool metallic artwork on that one. I've got a few copies of that one. Let's see what else we got here. All right. This is Nas King's Disease. 
really cool artwork. And then we've got the new one from Nas. This is, I believe, the colored vinyl edition. I think I've got some colored and some black coming in. I'll have to double check. Get this inner box out of here. We'll get down to the left. We are down to the last box. We did it. All right. Let's see what else we got here. We have got a music on vinyl press of Ghostface Killer. Iron Man. That's a pretty cool looking album. Dig it. Really making an effort to try and stock some more hip hop stuff. Doing my best, working with a couple of really good buddies who are helping me out. Um, just because I'm not super familiar, I know I know some hip hop to a certain extent, but I just don't have enough time to learn every genre. So doing the best I can, and that's where uh, good buddies come in. More no doubt. All right, Velvet Revolver. Glad to see this one back in stock after a long time. Um, Pretty sure this is a black vinyl reissue. This is music on vinyl, super clean pressing. I've had this one before and it was on the, I believe red and white vinyl. So I think this is the, the updated one where they, it's usually how music on vinyl does it. They press the colored version with the limited, sometimes hand, uh, sometimes machine numbered. And then when that sells out, they come back around and they press it on black vinyl. Either way, fantastic album. If you're not familiar with Velvet Revolver, this is uh, Scott Whelan from Stuntable Pilots with all the guys from GNR. Um, I think this was their only album. One and done, I think, right? Someone will correct me on that. Um, really cool track list. Big Machine is a great song. That's a standout to me. Uh, Sucker Train Blues was cool. Fall to Pieces was kind of the ballad on this. Slither was the big single. That's a killer song. I'm probably gonna have to snag a copy of that because honestly, I don't have it, so. All right, what are we ending up with? We are ending up with some more hip hop. We've got Mob Deep, a couple copies of that. And last but not least, we got Fat Joe, and then we got more, no doubt. So there you go. That's what it looks like to unbox about seven and a half boxes of records. As always, I really appreciate you watching. Feel free to go to shop.ntxfinal.com slash unboxing. I will put the link up again, and you can check out what's in stock there online. Again, we ship anywhere in the U.S. Um, we're working on the international thing. Give us some time, um, and that's it. Check out the website, see what else is available. Really appreciate all the support as usual. You guys are awesome. And we'll see you again on another episode of, un of another unboxing episode of Talking About Records next week.